So now let's focus on the uh, the mouth, because the mouth is going to be a bit of a an important part of this. So if I go back to my reference, I'm specifically interested in this part right here. So as you can see, the uh, the jawline is fairly triangular. Now I know the lip going around it is mostly circular, but we don't really want that. We're going to combine this sort of triangular shape along with something kind of like this here at the bottom, these sort of rounded corners for these uh, additional teeth. So it's not going to be circular, but I am going to borrow this uh, triangular jaw that the leech has. So to get that down here, there's actually a couple ways we can do that. The way I'm going to do it is with a freeform primitive. So if I go down to my primitives tool right here, I've set mine to the hotkey of shift P, but I'll just click it for now. And if I change my primitive to be a freeform cube, I can manipulate this into creating a sort of triangular jawline. So the first thing I'll do when using the primitives, if you watched my um, series on the spaceship wing, you should be more than familiar with this. But I'll turn on transform the lattice just so I can move the entire cube roughly into place. Okay, so I'll turn off transform lattice and then I'll move these points um, sort of inside of the model like so. And then I'll do the same thing to the other side. And I'll grab these two points and kind of move them up a little bit and so we get that kind of triangular look. And then just to really seal that I'll grab the point up here, move it back, and grab the bottom point, kind of move it forward. Let me make sure these are properly aligned. Something kind of like that, just to give us the basic shape. So I'll hit, although maybe it doesn't have to be quite so uh, far forward. Okay, that should get us started. I'll hit enter. And then to get the bottom jaw, I'll transform the entire uh, lattice again. I'll look at it from the front view, which is uh, the 2 key will align to the front view, and then I hit the 5 key to get an orthographic view. And I'll just turn this upside down, and then move it to the bottom. And I might make this one look a little bit different, maybe have... Okay, we have our basic shape down. So this looks pretty geometric though, so the next main step would be to smooth it out. And also fill in these gaps. So I can go, go in with my fill tool. and just start filling this in. Now I also don't want these to be quite so uh, so straight. So to make big large scale adjustments I can use my move tool. Make sure that's nice and big and just sort of drag some of those out. And then, if we look back at the reference, we're going to need this big hole in the middle because ultimately our proboscis is going to be uh, shooting out of that. So we need to make sure we sculpt that in. It's best to do so now at this early stage. 
And I'm also going to be looking a lot at uh, this image sort of for what to make the inside of that mouth look like because there isn't a whole lot of detail to go off of in this image. Now to do that, I'm going to be using primarily my build brush. I'll pick a rounder alpha and I'll just sculpt down. Now to sculpt down uh, you hold control. See how the line turns blue? All right, great. We definitely have a start. So now the next thing I'm going to focus on is I'm going to be making these kind of rounded but slightly extruded corners for the mouth in order to accommodate these uh, these extra teeth so that this leech can really grab on to whatever it is it's attacking. I think probably the easiest way is going to be with the move tool. Just grab the corner up here and then kind of pull it out into the shape that I want. Might try and make this deliberately a bit wider so that the teeth on this side, when the mouth closes, they'll sort of fall into little notches up here. So I might want to plan that out right now. And then we just got to fill in this area back here. And a really good tool for doing that would be something like the muscle tool. So what the muscle tool does is it allows you to draw these sort of elongated forms that travel along the surface. As you see though I'm getting a little bit of a gap there and that's because my smoothing speed is very high. And then I'll go in and start smoothing that. I might even run in then with my pinch tool and just try and get that to sort of narrow off, smooth it down a bit. And Now down here on the bottom, due to the uh, the lighting in the scene, it can be, and also the uh, the roughness of this shader that we're using, it can be a little hard to see the kind of detail work you're doing. So what I typically do when I'm sculpting in here is at this stage I would go to the shaders tab and I would apply this one. This should come with 3D code, it's just a clay. And then you see it becomes much easier to see what it is that we're doing. Smooth things out a bit more. Now we're not worrying about detail at this step. We're just trying to get the overall form in. Okay, so now let's focus on the back. 